Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome fifth wheel that is a mid bunk and it's not quite a mid profile and it's not quite a full profile. It's that nice, juicy, sweet spot in the middle. This is a 2021 Highland Ridge Open Range Roamer model 354 MBH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Roamer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at a newer product from Highland, Highland Ridge, the Roamer. Now they have used this name in the past, they took it away, and now they brought it back some. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going good. We're here in Grand Rapids, we Michigan. Sure are. Yep. Doesn't this feel like our good old days? It does. <laughs> yeah, because like you said, they used to have Roamer and then yes. they stopped it, right? Yep. And then and now now they're bringing it back. So what's different about the Roamer? Do you know? Uh, it, it's less than the open range, better than the open range light. Oh, okay. Yep. So it's like an in-between. It's an in-between, man. That's cool. I don't want a small fry and I don't want a large fry. Give me that medium fry great camper. That's right. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is Roamer 354 MBH. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 39 feet 3 inches. The tri weight is 11,394 pounds. And well, that pin weight? 2,070 pounds. Perfect. Always remember, it's not about the weight, it's about that pin weight as well. You definitely need at least a three quarter ton truck for this. That's right. Uh, right up here, we do have a nice fiberglass front cap, okay? Very nice. I, I love the way Highland Ridge does their designs. And, and that's a window too. Is that a window? Yeah. Oh, it is. Very nice. Right here, we do have a pin box. A uh, simple, plain. The no-name box. The no-name box, yep. But look at what Grant um, Highland Ridge does. They do the, like, what are these called? Riveted or whatever? No, Exposed? Just, screw. just screws? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's really nice how they do it. It's a weird look. It's a different look. And it's cool. Yeah. Right here, generator oh, wow. prep. I didn't Very expect nice. that. Yeah. And then it does have the leveling, but notice these are called JT strong arms. Folks. Right. So if you guys see on fifth wheels at campgrounds, a lot of times you'll see them put like a tripod underneath here yep. to make it more stable. That's what the JT strong arms do. And that's something that uh, Highland Ridge does a lot on their product. It's actually nice. Yep. Nice feature. Right there it is prep for solar. Here you go with the little uh, propane tanks right there. They slide out for easy transitions. And then here, ooh, very nice. Nice pass-through storage, okay? You got a place for a TV right there. Nice slam latch doors, aluminum framing, fiberglass sides. Very nice. We do have a nice, not one, but two very nice power awnings with LED lights. Will, let's take a look at them when they're all the way out. All right. Quick, Will. Okay. So show this. The buttons were down there. Oh. And I thought that would have been so stupid that I need to bend. It doesn't sound like a lot. Right. I have to bend down just to hold the buttons. It is the awning auto extend and auto retract. So that's okay. Yep. You do have speakers in the awning here. And then look at these solid steps. I haven't seen that before. Not this brand. It's slipper, but yeah, solid step XF. Yeah. Interesting. So while well, we do have very nice power awnings with the LED lights and everything, I wonder what the... Uh, XF it, is. It looks a little bigger and heavier duty. Maybe a higher weight capacity, probably. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, downside here. You do have the three year structural warranty, four season package, heating and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Rainier tires. I love those. ST235-80R16. And look at those Dexter axles there. With that uh, that thing in the middle of it. 
Yeah. That's definitely gonna help probably with the chucking. And then check this out. Well, see a full size outside kitchen on a mid bunk, you never see. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, look that's at this. That's weird though. It's weird that it's high, but it's okay. Because look, you actually have a sink that's actually plumbed through. And a griddle. I'm not going to get my I think. No, oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice griddle and everything. See, I knew that would happen. Push down. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have patience for that. Very <laughs> nice. And then you have your storage right up here. Great. Very, very nice. Coming on round the back here. We do have a hitch right here. It is rated for 300 pounds of vertical weight. You cannot tell behind this fifth wheel. We don't recommend that anyway. Right there's your Furion backup camera prep. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the roof. You know what roof this is, Will? Uh, do they use TPO? Nope. Fiberglass? a one piece PVC roof. Oh, PVC, I didn't think they did that. Well, that's what Highland Ridge does. I did not know that. Well, that's why I sold more Highland Ridges than you <laughs> at Leo's. <laughs> Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditionings. I love that. Very simple roof here. Right there's your digital antenna. And you do have a place there and a place there if you do want a max air fan. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen is going to come to Grand Rapids, Michigan, take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up with the driver's side. Right here, two AC units. That means it's 50 amp, okay? Do you have the big cable drive driven slide outs? Look how big and deep these they slide outs are. are. But you know what that means? Uh oh. Yeah, it means it's a pain in the butt to dump your tanks. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to yeah, be in all honesty. Yeah, it definitely could have been worse. But, but we'll talk about that later. Great. Right here's your water heater. Right here, this is your uh, the heck Web base station. Thank you, Will. With the, you know, you got your fresh water connection, black tank, flush outdoor shower, potable water fill, potable, potable. Very nice. Right over here. Oops. We do have some more storage right there. There's your auto leveling controls and everything. And then right over here is more propane tanks. Well, Will, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, so we'll start up front. Got the bedroom up here. Then coming down the sides, you have the bathroom. And in the middle, right here is your bunk room, your mid bunk, which is also accessible right there. Yep. Then you have your dining area, kitchen area, living area back here. Well, we're getting started back here. All right. Okay. And in here, again, it's like they're marketing it as a mid pro. Yes. But it's almost like a full pro. Right. It's that medium spot. It's like I can kind of get to the cabinetry, but not really. You know, you have nice cabinetry above. Yep. Okay. Very nice. Very big cabinetry above. Look at that, tons of space. You do have three big windows here with the slow rise shades. You know how we love those. And then right here's your sofa. Very nice. Um, like a suede. Right. Yep, like a water. Like it looks like, feels like the water would definitely bubble up. For sure. On this and just cut moisture wickening or whatever. Yep. Very nice and this is a sofa that does come out to make a bed. Let's show everybody what it looks like. Oops. All right. It's 
See, also, full profile fifth wheels are usually wide body as well. Ah. Oh. And this one is not because you'd have the three trifold tri seat sofa. Great point, Will. Great point. And then right here, this is it. Makes a. Still a good size bed. Yeah, queenish size. I saw somebody that said it's a queen. I don't think it's a real queen. Yeah. I think it's kind of like. An RV trifold queen. An RV trifold sofa queen. Yeah. Like, you're the queen to our kingdom that we made up. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> Great, and then over here, look at this, no carpet. We love that. Highland Ridge was one of the first ones that did that with the no carpet. Right. You got storage above here. Plenty big enough, plenty deep enough. Very nice with the windows. And then right here, Will. Electric. Electric. Oh. So fancy. You got your cup holders here. A nice remote placement right here. Oh wait, no it's not. Oh it's not, huh? It is manual, nice. I actually kind of like that. USB heat and massage. But let me warn you guys, no offense to Mr. Thomas Payne, but the massage feature is kind of like sitting on a cell phone. It just vibrates, it doesn't yeah. massage. But then directly across from the theater seats, is the entertainment center. And this is impressive because they were still able to give you that outside kitchen. Right. It's pretty cool. Right here. Oh, okay. Yep. The, the, yeah, okay. The, the deep storage kitchen. back there. Okay, look at this. It kind of wraps around. Too. Yep. Very nice. You do have a Furion sound system here and a Greystone fireplace that does produce heat. And then what the heck's going on with this dinette over here? It's actually pretty cool. So, so talk to me. Well, what is this? So you can be a regular seat like this. Yep. As you guys can see, or if you want to have a kid or somebody sitting next to you, it's got a little pop out. So it can be like that. Okay. Pretty sturdy. Yeah, very sturdy. Now the problem is it's so close together. Like you and I couldn't sit next to each other. Right, I mean. right. But again, for like a kid or something, yeah. you know, you got to remember this is the mid bunk. So they might only have one kid, so they yeah, exactly. have a pretty, pretty unique and cool feature. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? I sure do. It's, it's now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is $74,031. MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently advertise the sale price because it's a current model year, but will. We sell Highland Ridge at a lot of our stores. We're one of their top sellers. And if somebody wants one of these Highland Ridges and they want to get the best price in America, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal sell. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of those three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to general RV. Fill out that form for your Matt Cash, and somebody from my team will get back to you and get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. And we're here to answer your questions if you're not ready to buy yet. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. It doesn't matter if somebody buys this in Florida, Michigan, Ohio, or Grand Rapids. What's the one thing they'll always get as long as they fill out their mat cash form? The best price in America. Well, let's continue the video. All right. So we will start, I guess, right here with the island. Yeah. Open it up a little bit. So this is a pretty good sized island, honestly. Again, especially for having a mid bunk and a mid pro, semi, full pro. Um, nice faucet with this little spray faucet. Yes. Um, nice big single bowl sink. Yes. Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. Very now, nice. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but somebody once told me that if you scuff this up and scratch it, you can refinish it with a really uh, fine sandpaper. So, I, I, don't I don't know about that. I don't know either. You definitely we're have to not, fact check that. We're not <laughs> claiming that. 
Um, he got some drawers here. Here, got four. Everyone, leave down in the comments below. Let us know if that's a fact. Right. Or if it's a cap. Fact or cap. He got some storage right there. And there's a drawer and a little more storage. Oh! Hey, now! That's a $104 trash can! That's right! And this also has all your inserts, as you can see right there in it. Congratulations. Hey, it's got a little storage spot for it. Ah, see? I like that storage spot for it. Yep. Right here, you do have a nice, uh, you know, kind of like a pantry right yeah, there. Very nice. Yeah. And you got a high point regular microwave. Yep. Even though it looks all fancy, like it should be a convection. Um, I do like this backsplash pretty well. Cool. You got a three burner suburban cooktop. And then that's what's surprising. Look what's at that? that oven. Yeah. That's a bigger oven. It or, is. Or no, it's not. Or is it? I think it is. Is a it made bigger. to look bigger? I feel like it's a little it, bit bigger. It, it doesn't look turkey tested. Yeah. Or, no, I don't think it's turkey tested. Maybe turkey tested and turkey failed. <laughs> right. Probably. And like then, you can get like a rotisserie chicken in there, but yeah, prob exactly. prob probably not a uh, not Thanksgiving turkey. Right. Then right here you do have the Fury on. I love the way this fridge looks. Refrigerator freezer. Isn't this a badass fridge? It sure is. I mean, so look is at it that. fridge on this side? This is an OCD's person's dream fridge. Right. Will has OCD. Is this your dream fridge? I don't have OCD that bad. Yeah. It's his dream fridge. Is this freezer on one side? And I don't know. Other, I don't know. Or freezer up, freezer down? No, I think fridge I mean, freezer up, down. freezer down. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. That's it. Cool. Let's show this now. Yeah, we're going on in here. Okay. Oh, get the Did lights. we turn the lights off? From? Okay, mid bunk room. Look at this. Look at this. Now, something that Will pointed out earlier. Look at this. I can't right. reach that. This is a very nice, deep bunk over the cab bed. It sure but is. But Will, I mean, even even put yeah, your arm back it there. It was closed all the way, and I was trying to tie it up. You Look can at see this. there's a little tie right there. Yeah, but... And I couldn't couldn't reach it. Yeah, so. even being so tall. Now, this does flip up out of the way. Okay. And then you have your Thomas Paine collection seat right here. This does tri-fold out just like that one does. Yep. Really nice with the window and then across here. I mean, the storage is really nice. It is, yeah. A lot of times with these mid bunks, they'll put that loft area. Yeah, Not I, I like big. this better. Yep, exactly. Right there. Very nice. And look, you have another door. Another door. And like a big spacious door. Yeah. Right here, we do have a little bit of storage. Uh, for coats and then well it's now time for the shower test okay for those of you guys who don't know will is a staggering six foot three. Oh wow oh wow i think this will pass wow does that sure get the will. shower seal of approval it does bing very nice look at that that's yep, good nice width good size shower you got this little radial curtain thing there what's so, amazing is they did all that i know with the prep for a stackable washer and dryer next that's to pretty you pretty cool that's very impressive right over here i like that yeah kind of mirror medicine cabinet type that's setup different. dang well it's a little uh humid here it in, is uh, Grand it's actually Rapids. Hot. yep we got you step back a little sink okay storage underneath I have to step back over there, Will, because it's now time for the toilet test. <sighs> Man, well, we're doing it two in a row in Grand Rapids. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very, Very cool. nice. Then to get into the master bedroom that way. Double doors. Into the bedroom. Okay. Interesting. Okay, interesting. You want me to show this first? Yeah, yeah, show that storage. Got some closet space here. Oh, I do not like that. What? Oh, you'll get to it in I, I can't say. Okay. I can't say right now. Got some storage down below here. Yep. Some drawers. And here, come on. Jeez. Cool. Over here in the bedroom area. Uh, definitely unique. You can definitely see where they, where they sacrificed on the size. Yeah. If you got cabinetry above, okay. I do like the front little windshield area. Um, that there, you do have drawers right there if you pull those yep. out well. Um, USB and power, but it definitely feels like something's naked and something's missing. It does, yeah. Feels a little bland. 
Yep. It's a little empty. Well, well. Do you want to lift up the bed? Oh. The oh, it doesn't. On? Maybe it doesn't lift. It looks like it might be an electric lift. No. Cool. Is there storage oh. underneath? Yeah, kind of. That's kind of weird. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Oh. Do not ever underestimate me, though. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I've been selling RVs for a little bit of time now. I was like, man, this looks like an electric bag. Okay, it does make it a little bit better. Okay. But still. Now does it lift? Because it looked like there was storage under there. No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the open range. Roamer. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love? Let's do dislikes. Okay. Because two of them are in here. Okay. I do not like this bedroom yeah. whatsoever. It's, no. this is like, like the whole thing. It, something about it. I don't like the feng shui. Yeah, I, feels I weird. agree. It feels like they did such a good job on this fifth wheel and they like stopped. Like, whoop, ran out of yep. budget. Yep, exactly. Does that make sense? Yeah, I agree. Okay, that's number one. Okay. Number two, I don't like this bed. Right. Here's why. I came in and I hit my shin right on that uh... corner. And, and I don't like that. And there shouldn't be sharp corners for fat people. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's right. You know, we hit corners all the time. Like, I'm not trying to hit a corner while I'm camping. Right. You know? So that's dislike number two. Number one and number two. Will, do you have a dislike number three? Um, let me look. Go, you can go no, first. No, you go. You go. After you, sir. After you, sir. Um, we could know. say the, um, the dump station's on the outside. Yeah. Yeah, those dump stations on I the outside. Listen, great big slide outs. Love these big slide Me outs. Too. But they, they're, there was a give and take. Give and take, yes, so. sir. So a uh, pretty crummy place to dump your black tank. Yep. Great, so that's three things we don't like about this travel trailer. Now it's time for three things we love about it. You ready for me to go first? Yep. No carpet. Oh, yeah. Open range was like the OG when it comes. They sure were. When it came to these slide out systems, I don't know what they do different. It's great, I love it, nice slide out system. I like how Open Range does it, and they just did a fantastic job with that. Yep. That is number one. Number two? I'm gonna kind of combo it because it's little things. Um, I like this seat design. It's not gonna be perfect for everybody, for sure. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> it's a good way to get four seats in without having to you know, have multiple chairs and everything. Again, Smart. It, it'll be good for, it's just something you know, a little different. bit different. And it'll be good for the you know the smaller kids and stuff. Yep. So I'll combo that with hopefully I don't steal yours, but the buttons. I don't like where the buttons are, but I like that it was a a, a auto retract and extend on the uh, uh, awning. Way to steal my sorry. Like well, so I'm gonna I'm going to do a different. So I was gonna combo the, the awning with the outside kitchen. Oh okay. Because that's what a combo is. <laughs> right. Not like a random chair and a random awning, but it's okay. We won't judge you well. So my new combo that's not a real combo is I love the space in this mid bunk for being a smaller fifth wheel. I mean, this under 40 feet, this is right. definitely one of the biggest bunks. For sure. And then I'll just say this full size outside kitchen. Yep. You know, you don't get outside kitchens a ton on mid pro on um, mid bunk fifth wheels. Right. And so to get the full size kitchen, they just did a really good job with this fifth wheel. That's right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, please call, text, send us an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a middle-sized mid-bunk fifth wheel, we are going to put its competitors right there and there. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. Thank you.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, Open Range is bringing back the Roamer, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Let us know what you guys think of it. Leave down in the comments below. Tell us three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Absolutely, everybody, so much for watching, and we'll, we'll see you next time.